Okay, hello everyone. Guys, today we're going to multiply radical monomials. All right, we've been working with radicals. Today we're going to start multiplying them together. We've done some of this already. In today's objective, multiply and simplify expressions involving radical monomials. Remember what a monomial is. Example one here, this is these numbers and variables are multiplied together. That's a monomial. An example of one that's not a monomial is when you're adding these two terms together. Remember, a monomial is just one term. This is two terms. That's a binomial. Okay. Example three, this is a monomial right here. This is just a number, two-thirds. Right? But example four, this is not a monomial where you have the variable in the denominator. Okay? Today's essential question. How do we multiply radical monomials? Again, guys, for this lesson, we're just going to deal with square roots. All right, where a square root, again, has an index of 2. And again, when you see the radical symbol without an index, you know, explicitly written in there, it is understood to have an index of 2. It's implied to be a square root. This is the basic rule about multiplying radical expressions. And y'all, we've looked at this before. Again, I'm multiplying two numbers here. They're both radicals. They have different radicands. And the radicand is the thing that's inside the house or inside the square root sign. You can just multiply them together inside this, the same radical sign, underneath the same square root sign. You can do that. Again, the radicand is the term inside the square root. We can multiply them together. But sometimes there are numbers outside of the radical. So we change the formula a little bit. Again, the idea is the product of the numbers outside the radical stay outside, and the ones that are inside the radical stay inside, just like this. In this case, a and b are some numbers. They're coefficients in front of these radicals. You just multiply the a and b together, of course, and multiply the x and y together underneath the same radical sign. All right, an example, guys, a very simple example. I'm multiplying the square root of 4 times the square root of 4. Well, guys, that's 4, okay? You can look through that and see why, but I just want you to understand the square root of 4 times the square root of 4, that equals 4. Got another example, the square root of 3 times the square root of 27. When we multiply these together, 3 times 27, we get 81. The square root of 81 is 9. Okay, so it's pretty easy to simplify it. We're also going to cover, guys, a monomial times a binomial, where you distribute. All right? Again, you take this negative 2 that's in the front times both terms in the binomial. Negative 2, or um, the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, and the square root of 2 times negative 3. It, it happens right here. All right, the two square roots of 2 together is 2. All right, you cannot just go ahead and take the, the 3 times the square root of 2, switch them around so the 3 is in front. You cannot combine 2 with this term here because this term has a square root of 2 in there. Just leave it like that. All right, example 4. Again, a little harder here because these have um, coefficients in front of each radical. But it's similar, you guys, all right? You multiply the outside numbers together. So negative 3 times the 5. All right, then negative 3 times the 4 right here. And you multiply the numbers inside together. So 12 times 3 inside the radical, 12 times 6 inside the, the radical for the second term. Well, this is a very long, detailed showing how this problem is done. Again, the negative 15 ends up in front. And 12 times 3 is 36. So this is the square root of 36. That's just 6. Now back here, this is we're subtracting negative 3 times 4, so this ends up being a positive 12, right here, positive 12. 
and 12 times 6 is 72. Well, 72 is 36 times 2, and 36 is a perfect square, so I can take 36 outside, it becomes 6. There's already a 12 out here, so 12 times 6 is 72, and this is our answer right here. All right, you can take a look at that. Guys, this is a much simpler example. Again, I'm multiplying this monomial out front here times these two terms times this binomial. So I take the negative 2 times negative 5, and I get the 10 right here. All right, the, the square root of 7 just comes along right there. Then I take the negative 2 times negative 3, and I get 6. And 7 times 7 is 49, and that goes underneath the radical sign. And we know the square root of 49 is 7. So the, this last term just becomes 6 times 7. That's 42. All right, guys, that's it. Please, uh, the homework check, we'll do it in class, guys, and we'll watch this video in class, too. All right, thanks just for listening.